Okay, so it's time to move on to, to me. The best part is we're going to start to light the ship up. And when it comes to the, the primary hull, we've got quite a bit of um, smaller pieces that need to go on. Um, actually, the impulse crystals we still have to paint blue um, you know let's let's look at the nacelles so this will be it's looking like this is going to be the port nacelle see the pins where they're gonna go they're gonna go in just like that and I can tell it's the port nacelle because the nacelle pylon um, let's get the nacelle pylon okay <clears throat> this I think this is the one It's actually going to go in like that. And then the pylon is gonna come down and it's gonna go into the side of the ship like that. So why don't we start doing, we're gonna start working on the, uh, the port nacelle and we're gonna work on the nacelles. There's also the beacon um, that's gonna go on top and when it comes to those beacons, it would be, let's see, underneath the tape that we had um, used for protection to prevent them from being painted red. It looks like some of the, um, some of the paint got on them. All right, but for the most part, they're still clear. You can see the um, impulse crystals, the deflector dish, the bridge. There is a beacon on the back, but this is just plastic. And it's gonna to be tough to light because we still have the piece that's gonna go in and fill that area in, which will be this. And we have to kind of project the light there. So there's gonna be really no room for wires in there. As you can see, it's solid. Even the fiber optic would be hard. So, because of the solid piece, there's going to be no beacon in the back. So, what we're going to do is we're going to put the lights inside. We have to put a light there to light the back. We're going to have two lights here, one there, and we're going to have one in each side. Well, on the top and on the bottom. Because if you know, when we look at the ship, you can see the nacelles have bright spots at the top and on the bottom. So what we're going to do is, I'm thinking of trying the white lights, um, and we can also see what the red lights would do. And the same thing in here with the blue lights. No, we can try that. Now when it comes to gluing the pieces, according to the website, <clears throat> excuse me, according to the website, um, the glue that needs to be used is CA glue. So, I'm not very familiar with the CA glue, so I have purchased this specifically for this kit. We have the, the adhesive activator, and we got the adhesive guru, the CA. So what this is gonna do, we're gonna put this on, and then we use the activator, which is gonna be kind of weird. I'm gonna figure out how we're gonna use this. I never did this before. But according to the website, we have to use CA glue on this kit. Um, because I like to use super glue on everything. And I don't know if super glue is going to work. But why don't we go ahead and we can start prepping the pieces to put into the sides. So. All right. 
Okay, so this is gonna go in the front. And the grills are gonna face on the outside. Yeah, that looks like it's pretty clean. So let me show you guys how it's gonna fit. That looks pretty cool. Yeah. And this one is gonna go right here. That looks pretty cool. Let me show you guys and how it's gonna be lit. There. And all we gotta do is glue these in. <clears throat> you can see the other side. That looks really wild. So I wanna spray the activator into here. That way there, I mean, I'm not gonna just spray the surface of my model. I don't wanna ruin the finish of the paint. All right, and again, guys, I'm, uh, I've never worked with this stuff before. So, you know, I'm learning as I go along. So, but I want to put just a little bit. Let's use the brush. Yeah, that works a lot better. All right, now for the moment of truth. We're gonna put this together. Just like that. And we're gonna go ahead now, we're gonna do this for all of them. All right, so, get the adhesive ready. And these parts fit in pretty well, so. Like I said, not quite snap tight, but they do go in smooth. Here we are. That looks pretty good. Well guys, my first time ever using CA glue. Looks like it was a success, it was pretty well. Okay guys, let me give you a bit of an update. Um, the battery in the camera was really low, so I had to stop. And what we had, what I had put in for the Bassard collectors originally was the small LEDs with the feed. And I had also done the, um, the chassis with the lights on it, and everything was working fine until I went to go put it in to the nacelle and it was just there's just no room and there was so many wires the wires were so large that it was just blocking the grills so I said okay the LEDs aren't gonna work so I ended up going with the really tiny little SMDs and what I did was I had one that was longer and this one is actually going to go and light the back of the nacelle. And what I did was I put them all together. Let me separate them. And I soldered them together. And then I put a little bit of the, uh, the liquid tape. Just to keep everything from touching. And then we hooked it up to the power. And let me show you what it looks like now. So we still have our four lights. They're not as... Um, bright as the LEDs. What I liked about the LEDs is that we were actually able to point them and direct the top. Um, we're not going to be able to do that. But what we're going to do with this is the wires take up a lot less space, if you guys can see that. Just like that. Alright, so when it comes to this, this is going to go back there. First things first, let's get this one in place. All 
All right, so that that's tacked into place right now. And what we're going to do with this one is this one is going to go to the back. All right, hopefully you guys can see that. Uh, hopefully that's going to go into the back. So what we got to do now is we have to kind of fold all this down. All right, so let me give you guys a bit of an update on what I've been doing. Because the, um, I had wanted to put another light in, but because of the hot spot, if I had to put another light in on the other side, there would have been hot spots in two places. So what I decided to do is I pushed the bulb back and I aimed it towards the front. Let me make sure you guys can see this. Whereas I think, because I didn't have enough of these bulbs, otherwise I would have put another one facing this way, but, well, it is what it is for now, and I gotta live with that. So in the dark, it should look okay, but there's not as much of a hot spot because it's facing forward. And we still have the, um, the two coming out of the Bassard collector. So what I did with this, let me tell you guys, I put the, um, I use the CA glue and on one half and then I use the, uh, the activator on the other half. But what I do is I spray it into a container and then I use a paintbrush and apply it instead of spraying the whole thing. So it says to clamp for one minute, but I'm going to keep it clamped for a little while because what we got to do is we actually start to have to think about getting the decals ready and also there are some wicked gaps in the model that we're going to have to putty up. So I think what we're going to do first is we'll get the decals ready and then we'll do the perfect plastic putty and we'll seal in all the seams around it. We're going to have to paint that. Um, I'm going to use the, uh, the silver paint. So we're going to need 36, 35, 36, 38A and 38B for the top. So, what I'll do is I'll get them ready. And then when we need to, we can just trim them out. One for the inside, one for the outside. So we got 29A and 29B for the nacelles, the nacelle pylons. We've got the nacelle pylons taken care of. We got the top, we've got the bottom, and we've got the sides, the inside and out. So I think we're ready. So we have all the decals that we're going to need for now. Sorry, collectors in the front. And we have, you guys see how I was telling you the, uh, the way the light looks. And the, the hot spot's not as noticeable with the light going forward. So we can think about doing the part that goes in the back of it. I think before we do that though, Before we do that, we need to really think about it because I don't know if you guys can see the, the gaps. They're really, the gaps are really big. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the perfect plastic putty. I'm actually gonna do this before we glue the nacelle pylon on because it'll make it easier to get into this um, area so we can actually clean the uh, putty off. sure that there are no light leaks so you can see the light coming through there that looks good all right so they're gonna go just like that and again we're gonna have to uh, well we're not gonna actually light the inside so we won't have to actually putty it up because we won't have to worry about light leak but we are gonna have to 
figure out a way to shore it up. It said that um, to use a brass the brush cleaner and it's stiff and it can give some support because I don't have the little brass pieces that um, they suggested. So what we got to do is we got to form it into here. That way there we won't have to worry about the nacelle drooping and this is pretty sturdy. Yeah, that's good. So we will be able to uh, put this in place and when we glue it, um, it'll be held in place. So why don't I go ahead and try to Put the activator on the side and this way here the nacelle will have some strength so the uh, the last thing we're gonna want is to see the nacelles droop so I'm gonna brush a little bit of activator on there now just to make sure it sticks Where the sides are clean. Nice. All right. You can see there's no light leak except where the, the lantern is going to go. That looks pretty good. All right. And these parts have a propensity to fling across the room, so luckily... can see the light coming through looking pretty good Alright, so it took some some trying, but we got the piece in. Right, so that's how she's looking so far. We got that hot spot in the back, but Check it out. So that's looking pretty cool. Now there is some light leak. Oh, you can see the light leak up top. Because that's clear, I don't really know how to fix that. The uh, the set the Bassard collector is actually too small for the opening. That's why it's not fitting perfectly. Here it is. And instead of a paintbrush, I'm going to try using a Q-tip on the areas to kind of blot it on. Oh, 
looks pretty cool. When that's dry, what we'll do is we'll put the decals on. All right, so it has some time to dry. And it looks like we can go ahead and start to put the finishing touches on. So I think what we can do is we can actually glue the nacelle pylon. As you can see the outer edge where we're going to put the glue. To the uh, into the nacelle. Just like that. And you can see how it's going to go. So let's give that a minute. So let's start prepping the decals. Some decals from the name and registry sheet overlap with the decals here. Please read the instructions in the name and registry decal sheet to see which ones to disregard when using wallpaper decals. Some decals from the wallpaper decal sheet overlap with the decals here. Please read the instructions in the wallpaper. Right, we just did that. Decals number four and number 20 are optional. All right, let's start at the end. 38A and 38B. So why don't we go ahead and start to cut these out. All right, here goes my first time trying aftermarket decals. And that is 38B. So while that's wetting, why don't we go ahead and we'll prepare the microset and the microsaw. All right, so this is gonna go like that. I just wanna make sure, and that's gonna wrap around. is going to go on the left half. The bottom is done and we should start thinking about doing the top of the back. this one in half.
We're going to cut this right across. this dry and when it's dry then I can think about putting on the, uh, the micro set okay so it's had some time to dry and all the decals kind of shrunk over the uh, the nacelle the nacelle pylon so hopefully it's got that outer space kind of look show you guys the, the nacelle pylon and you can take off the clamp. Looks pretty cool. Let me go ahead and put it on. <clears throat> Let's see how it ended up looking. So we got the back and again I faced the light going backwards um, to try to cut down on the hot spots and I did the same thing with the light going forward where the blue section is. Um, I hope that round two releases this ship and makes it a little bit larger than maybe I can put different lighting in over there, maybe a lighting strip. <clears throat> but you see the top, the beacon that lights up. We got the Bessard collectors. Now the Bessard collectors are a little bit smaller than the, uh, the actual piece that it fits into. So maybe at some point I'll try to, I don't know, maybe fill in with some putty. I'm not sure yet what I'm gonna do. Maybe on a final assembly when we put it to the uh, secondary hull. But you see the way she, she was starting to look. USS Titan. This is the port in a cell. And my friends, thank you for watching. I appreciate all the kind words. And until my next video on this build series, um, I'll talk to you soon, which will be coming up real soon.